Rim Rims and other thick ass ground runners. I have a confession to make. Both today and tomorrow's episodes, they're pre recorded. Oh. I know, I know. It's it's multiple times in the same week. I, like I said before, lockdown in the UK attended. I haven't seen people for two years. Everybody's flooding to my house at once. Okay, I live here. Can you blame them? I promise this is the last guest I'm going to have for, for months. I'm locking the door after tomorrow. That's it. Every, shit, shit's locked down. I just want to play RimWorld and never <laughs> leave this room for the rest of my friggin' life. As a result, I won't be able to read comments or anything for the next couple of days. But if I get any downtime during, uh, well, for, for obviously today being what, like Sunday and uh, Monday, I'll go through all your comments and I'll put them all in a big old file and then I can... Uh, I can work on whatever it is your your sagely advice is that you choose to gift me with. I mean, luckily though, we are in the we're in the early game. We know what we've got to do, and that is well, maybe actually build some defenses. I was kind of expecting, given that this is a fairly low difficulty that we're playing on right now, that things would be a little bit easier. Um, turns out we're getting clapped pretty consistently by a bunch of naked people. John, the cowman, has spent more time in bed over the course of this series than he has well out of bed oh, on the subject of that i think it's about to get savaged again come on john was oh, that kibble hey we finally got the kibble production going which is going to help speed things up five percent chance oh yeah good luck with that i have a couple of ideas for today the first one i want to do is build some sort of perimeter wall and like i said at the end of yesterday start tidying up the edges of the map a little bit more getting some walls down getting some perimeters down allowing animals to still come in so what we'll do is we'll build walls across here but but can i have a choke point um and maybe even some kill boxes Obviously, animals aren't affected at all by kill boxes. If we pave over the edge of the map too, the animals will happily run through to get to whatever food we leave out, but raiders will still suffer the consequence of that. So that'll probably be the best way to do it. Now I want to introduce the greatest idea I think I've ever had in the whole of Remod. And if anybody in the comment section claims to have invented this, they're a liar because I'm pre-recording this and I can't have possibly read their comments yet. We have two things in this mod pack. We have Freddy Burger, who has quickly become a very skilled and talented chef. 8.82 cooking up from like five or whatever he started with and we have animal costumes which i originally added to add and sell in the gift shop but hear me out here we can combine those into the ultimate pun and or restaurant experience with vanilla cooking expanded and orion's gastronomy we can create a restaurant and i hope you're sitting down for this because it's going to blow your mind I'm going to call it Fried Nights at Freddy's. I'm just waiting for you guys to all stop applauding. What we're going to do is sell fried food added by Vanilla Cooking Expanded. It adds fries. We still need to research them. And we can have the waiters all dressed up in animal costumes. Now, look, I'm not a massive fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. But what I am, I don't, I don't know how I say that. I don't know fucking anything about it. I've played one game once. What I do know is that there are people in animal costumes... And uh, what I also know is it's an incredible comedic tool that I cannot ignore. Oh, and John grabbed a neutral oak. John, what a what a play. At long last. Can you get the other one too? Wait, are they a breeding pair? Male? Female. That is high tier. If we can get... Oh, John, you've done it. If we can get neutramine consistently, we're going to have to... I, I will defend these things with my life. They might get a vault dedicated to them. If we can defend these neutral oaks over a long period of time with enough breeding... We'll be able to make ourselves a shitload of new neutramine, which by extent will allow us to do, well, everything we need to do with animals. Bearing in mind, we've got a xenobiotic patcher. If we want to do some, let's phrase it as fancy surgeries on our and or uh, our people and or our animals, we can do that. And this is going to give us the keys to the kingdom. Not only that, but we have animal genetics. We can eventually breed neutralopes that give way more neutramine with selective breeding. What about the other one? That, that gives actually very, very crappy milk, which is a bit of a shame. This one also gives very, very crappy milk. Well, never mind, I guess. Like I said, a bit of selective breeding. We can, we can make this work. This is going to be this is gonna be very, very high tier. What about our boom lobes too? I didn't actually check. Do those have... Uh, let's go animals here. Do those also have any good genetics? Um, no. And um, hot purple. Uh, it, hot purple is, is very average. That one's slightly better. The, oh, the hideous zipple bat does increase damage. That's very nice. And the way this mod works, if you haven't used it before, is the, the value of it is determined by the mother and the father, right? So uh, with it, with it, with some randomness as well. So if you breed together two animals with high damage, chances are those, those, you know, child animals are going to have very high damage as well. We're just really going to have to roll the dice on a neutral though, unless we can find some other ones with high stats. They've both got crappy milk 
output. So we're going to have to... Oh, I don't like the fact that we're calling it milk. Can we... We're going to have to do some careful breeding. Anyway, that's all that matters. Now, one thing I was thinking as well uh, is... And I thought this when I was watching back yesterday's video while I was editing it. And John was getting his ass handed to him. Uh, I also made a big point in yesterday's episode about how great John's mood is. Despite the fact he's getting his ass handed to him on a daily basis. Why don't we give John the power armor? I feel like that's a, a pretty good idea. Given that A, well, firstly, he's naked. But B, he's you know, sticking his hands in dragon's mouths and asking them to be his friend. I did see a comment on one of the episodes where somebody said, sell the limbs that this thing makes as a gift shop item. And honestly, that's incredibly high tier. Oh, he's done it. Come on, buddy. Let's go home. I'm not sure I want that. So these guys also clone as well. Uh, it will just split into two in 120 days. Time to exercise implant. How long have we got on that? Uh, that takes ages, doesn't it? From what I remember. I don't know if it says on the, uh, uh say production. One every 20 days. Yeah, so that's quite a long time. We've got more boomlops down here. That I, I know we've already got some. We're doing this for the livestock more so than the... Hello there. There's another one. We've got a pair of Jovid Bowies. I know we don't need that many. Eventually, we will have to start maybe selling some, moving them into bioreactors. It, it's obviously only one of the animals that counts for the points anyway. So it, it's probably a bit of a waste of time taming this many. Or, well, more specifically, we'll just like the game out massively, won't it? So let's throw down uh, a slate wall across like... Actually, that's very, very fortunate. We could put one across there and one across there. Again, mainly for controlling raiders more than anything else. Over at these points, we'll make some more dedicated... Uh, you know what? Let's go for a... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll go from here down to roughly there. And then we'll kind of find the middle point there and bring out a circle shape. I think that's good for a, for a kill box is what I'm thinking. Or well, not really a kill box, but an entrance area that could double up with, with kill potential. Oh, that's kind of horrible. We haven't got anywhere to connect this one up to unless we connect it. We could wall across there and wall down from there on a diagonal, but that'd be horrible. I suppose we could just say the opening on this then is the... Is where the raiders try and go through. Seems a bit pointless to do it like that, then. Otherwise, they can just sidestep it. So in that case, rather than having a uh, quote-unquote kill box, we could just run a big old line across there and try and funnel them through an area like this. Yeah, I guess that works. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is one of the big dragons, isn't it? This is one of the rare... Oh, shit. A jade dragon. Uh, these are really, really dangerous, right? 20% chance. Somebody said be careful of the true dragons because they're the really hyper-dangerous ones. I'll be honest, John, that's maybe something for an inspiration. I think that's way too dangerous just to go for. Maybe maybe a few bionics and also a higher animal skill. I've had another one of these uh, foxes wandering, but obviously only one counts towards the zoo score. They also seem very powerful. They have they have some sort of ability. So I guess another one as, as, a, as a guard dog probably wouldn't hurt. I guess some sort of fire breath effect. Oh, he's done it. 52% chance. Yeah, they are quite easy, aren't they? I don't know what the variation between these two are. As far as I can tell, they are functionally identical, but... Maybe it's age. Hang on. Uh, 46. This one is 19. It could be that. I just got to work it out here. So on this side, we're going for a more traditional kill box. A, a dedicated way to take out some of the raiders on this side. Then over towards the other side of the road, we've got a fortification. It's something I wanted to test out. Now, bear in mind, I was talked about this the other day, that the, we've got these fences, which act as embrasures, but they've only got 25% cover, so they are very, very poor compared to sandbags, but you can't walk over them, which I think is how embrasures should be should be balanced, right? You shouldn't have the, the best of walls and sandbags in one thing. I've also put cavalry spikes there, but I've put a layer of sandbags behind that too, which is going to make our people less accurate. Chances are they'll hit the wall about as much as they hit our enemies, but it will... I, I just want to test it out. I, I want to see which side ends up being more effective. Now, the problem, of course, is, you know, if they're living here, it's going to take them less time to get over here than it will for the raiders to get through that. So we might want to put down a couple of, uh, a couple of chambers to that. We've also got a big old wall going across the north and south of the map there. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a little bit of an opening. It's a shame we can't do anything about the plants. Because if they've got plants there already, the animals will eat what they've got and then potentially wander off the map before we ever see them. We need a way to kind of bait them over. We could always make some... So they'll always go for whatever's got the highest nutrition. That's exactly what we found out, you know, as we saw in with the last series. Where if you leave your freezer door open, it will get swarmed with, swarmed with rats. So if we leave... We can make just a kibble stop panel and leave this door open and bait all the animals over. Oh, John. It's too early, John. Get out of there. John, 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 John. John, it's too early for this shit. You can't go down in the first five minutes of the episode. Bring him. Send him. 
Nice, what a shot. Take that, Jovid Bowie. Is that Fox harvesting my heel root? <laughs> um, huh. They absolutely are. Cutting ironwood tree? Whoa, 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 they work. What are you doing? Cutting stone blocks in bulk? Oh, these things are incredible. Oh my God, look. You can change its jobs. Oh, well, that's incredible. So Bert is, uh, oh, uh, as we've seen, Bert is on research. Oh my, wait, they can do doctoring? I suppose they are, they are sapient, right? Well, they're sentient, I should say. They're highly intelligent. Okay, then. Wow. Um, free colonists, I suppose. Let's do doctor, nurse. You're telling me, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me that my best option for a doctor in this colony right now, yep, <laughs> is a fucking fox. <laughs> He's also the best. He's also the best chef. He's also the best chef. Um, I'm not going to have you take burgers. Oh my god, they're good at building too, and they're good at harvesting. Oh, this is too good. This one's got 15 crafting skill. <laughs> Well, it feels less of a war crime if we've got animals helping us do it. I think that's I think that's fair to say. I was trying to figure out why we gained a bunch more zoo score. Turns out those culins are different types of animals entirely. They're different species, essentially, of, of the same creature. So both of them are contributing points there. Well, thank God I actually did tame it. That's not ideal. Um, How much spare power have we got? Because we're already not generating much. 3,800 watts. We can probably just about get by by putting a... Cooler in everyone's bedroom. Okay, we don't have the steel for it. That's a bit more of a concern. I also can't see any on the map. Uh, it could be a slight... Uh, it could be a slight problem. It could be a, could be a little concern there. Yeah, there isn't any. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. John, be careful. Oh, okay, 11% chance. He is getting better. Oh, shit. Where are those? I can't even see them dropping in. Um... Well, I must be uh, literally almost blind. Oh, 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 that's it. What is that? A lancer. Whoa, look at the lancer, though. Uh, the fox is attacking the mechanoids. You want to want to actually finish the job, though. That'd be that'd be kind of handy. Bring them down. Oh, my God. Those are powerful. Wow. Uh, you want to take that out, too? Oh, I like this. <laughs> Base is defended by... Stone cutting artillery foxes. You know, you know what it's like here in Rimwad. Just walked outside of the low shield, so I'm gonna send in Hit Squad Burger and Bert to see if they can see if they can take that out and open it up for our stone cutting firefox to uh to hopefully deal with the auto charge turret. Come on. Come on, Bert. Nice! That'll do it. Well done. God, this is exactly where I saw this series going. This is it. This is the perfect reward series. <laughs> <laughs> Long boy. These guys are worth a fortune. These guys are some of the highest scoring animals in the game. They're in the top 20 for sure. 3,500. That's 35 points for one long boy. We did actually tame a Paraceratherium. How much were those worth? Uh, oh man, they're very, very good as well. Holy crap. Sacrifice the sink for a comms console, which I think is actually way more important. We'll see if we can just buy some steel from an orbital trader. It's either that or we sit there and try and strip mine out this mountain and see what we could find. So couldn't know if they've got nothing else to do, but I don't want to make a habit of it. We've already got a combat supplier. Well, there's only one thing to do. <laughs> He's got 1.5%. Okay, I'll actually, I'll actually get John to trade because we can't afford to fuck around with our resource at this point. Right, okay, so we can sell a bunch of, like, dragon scales, or we really don't want those right now. I'll keep one, because they are a collectible, and if we get any other ones in the future, we'll, uh, we'll sell it in the shop. But for the time being, we really do need some, some basic resources. I know these guys aren't going to have anything, but we can sell them what we've got right now, and then use that money to buy, hopefully, something a bit more, a bit more relevant from the next trader. Oh, now you're pinging me about the man-hunting packs of Wildman. I mean, I'm still not happy about it, but at least we're actually being told this time. Uh, what's the bet we're not going to get up to this kill box in time? I feel like they've got the... <laughs> I feel like they've got a real advantage there. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, that's also... <laughs> that is also um, a slight blaring issue, isn't it? Both Kirkland and Marge Brawlers, I'll be honest, 
I don't really care. I don't really care. We need all the help we we need all the help we can get here. I'm also gonna do something a little bit sweaty here. And um, this is because we need all the help we can get. Uh, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna say, hey, uh, fly breathing foxes over to the sweaty area, please. And um, please hurry. Oh god, oh god, run, 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 and kill. <laughs> Immediately went back to sleep. Oh, they've actually given it a unique sleeping uh, sprite. That's really cool. Right, hey, uh, wake up though. I need you to light some men on fire. Seems to be facing the wrong direction. I don't even want to ask. I didn't want to consider where those fireballs just came from. Oh, they are. They are, I mean, holding it down. Between them and uh, Bert hitting shooting level eight. <laughs> oh my God, we're done. You've done it, foxes. You've done it. Now he's going to ride it home. It's very concerning. They are they are sentient. And Kirkland just ride the foxes to Mount Doom. Incompetent cook? Uh, are you talking about Freddy Burger from the very famous restaurant Fried Nights at Freddy's? I'm research I need for animal costumes. Hang on. Animal costumes. Noble animal costume. Noble a royal. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me when we give Large Marge a large throne that we can stick her in a tanuki outfit and she can be good with that? Because I'm not. I'm not sure I'm okay with that. And ideally, we want to slow them down a little bit more just to give our people time to get there. Actually, given there are already two trees there as well, we're going to go real sweaty with this. Whoa, 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 we've got choke vine. Oh, well, that's way better. So in, in, in RimWorld, when you are traveling over the same thing at a consistent speed, you maintain a consistent speed. So if you walk over a whole line of sandbags, sure, it'll slow you down, but you go a lot, lot slower if you're transitioning between terrains. So if you're going from choke vine to sandbags to choke vine to sandbags, it's way, way, way slower on average. So we're going we're gonna to do that and kind of intersperse those. That way it might actually give our people a chance to get from here to here in time to fight them. I still think they're going to be against it, but we'll see how it goes. I guess for trade caravans, we'll throw down a door like... Uh, we need to make out something fairly durable, though. Plasteel? It seems a bit of a waste of plasteel. Uh, what, about, uh, what about uranium? Yeah, okay. We'll throw down a uranium door there. The side is also done. I do need to check whether or not we can actually shoot through these. I blindly trusted the comment section, which has bitten me many, many times before. Oh, we can. Okay, good. I'm going to let him fire off a shot there. Yeah, it, it works fine. But to confirm, you can't actually walk through that. If you could just climb over the fence now, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, Doesn't seem like we can. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's absolutely fine. A better way to check would be put them all the way at the bottom where it's... Yeah, okay. So, if obviously it's more convenient for them to walk around, if it's faster, they will still do that. But from this position, it's not going to be faster to run all the way up and across than it is to go from from there to there. Nice. Well, that feels a lot better already just to have these these defenses down. There's another Krayat Dragon. Just to have these defenses down already feels so much better. Let's go an Overgrown Colossus. The animals can still get in, but it will provide a little bit of a deterrent. It's not massive, but it is a small amount of deterrent to raiders. And more importantly, we can kind of control their numbers a little bit by doing this. I'm going to need to perfect it a little bit more to make it so that it is effective. So I'm thinking on this side, they're going to come in through here, right? I want to make them run all the way down here and across and then through a kind of pseudo maze, for lack of a better word. So if we go like this, it's not massive, but it doesn't have to be massive. Just a little bit of choke vine there to force them to slow down a tad and then we'll get trees and plants growing. I won't worry so much about this side. All right, Marge, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get her that Psylink. At the first level, she's not annoying either. We haven't got to worry about the throne room or anything like that quite yet. Ah, oh, here they are now. They've landed in the kill box, the fools. It's nice to see these Janissaries turning up wearing actual, uh, you know, armor and a uniform rather than animal hats. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Animal Museum. There's not really much of a museum going on. Oh, my God, did we recruit you? Did we get this other... We did get this other dragon. Oh, cool. Obviously, it didn't count towards our points on it. Oh, well, unless maybe the different... Uh, no, they don't. That's a shame. So the juvenile storm cuts, they're, they're, they're worth the same value. They're just different ages, ultimately. Right, here we go. Welcome. Welcome to the museum. Please tell the Stella what you've seen here and how much you love it. Please don't shut us down. Come on, Marge. It's time for your ceremony. Oh, my God. How impressed is this guy going to be when she rides into the room on a flaming fox? There we go. And kapow. What will be really good here? Probably burden. I think out of all of the all of the starting tiers, burden would be fantastic. Slow an animal down long enough to get tranquilized the dart into it, then forget about it. We gained stun. That's not the one I wanted, Marge. You shits. That's the bad one. 
I mean, it's still okay. I mean, it'll still help out a very, very small amount. Oh, we got a Brachiosaurus. Oh, the long boy. Oh, and we got a trader. Hello. Oh my god, look at these fucking hats. <laughs> I think I noticed that it just spawned in the bottom of the map. Here we go, we've got an Ackley. Wowee, give me that. Well, that's Bert. I was going to say there's another Stegosaurus there, and then I realized it was cutting a tree down and building a wall. <laughs> just got another notification then. Was it the animal one? <gasps> Around Joris. <laughs> god, that one is good. I have a special place for you, Round Joris. Oh, we did get him. Wow, I wish we got a message rather than a tiny little notification. Because you also got an overgrown colossus. Let's see if there's a mod for that. Because that'd be so much nicer to get it as an actual pop-up at the side, wouldn't it? Oh, no. I mean, they might have some... They might have some steel. This is also a very slippery slope to dangerous things. Dude, they, they've got a little bit of steel. That'll do. We just need to build another, uh, another research station, to be honest. Uh, you guys want to buy some... Buy some dragon scales. I'm going to keep the zipple back ones. We'll sell the rest because the zipple back ones are better. Uh, oh, God. They've got, like, mutasim for production. No, I, I shouldn't. I could, but I shouldn't. We need something to trade. We need to get out there and caravan and get some resources back in. If we can get a powerful reactor, we can start setting up hydroponics. I think... I think we're going to need something to fund this zoo. I think we're going to have to go a little underground with it. Let's forget what you saw here. We got a lot of hungry animals that need feeding. Oh, all I've clicked lets you add it to the start. Oh, that's good. Oh, the amount of times I removed the entire queue because of that. That's incredible. Eric, fuck off, Derek. What's wrong with you? Uh, yeah, release the hounds. Uh, Large Marge, we need, we need some psychic powers on Derek Lodge right now. Large Meat Lodge, go. Bang. Bring him down, John. Bring him down. Solar Flare. Oh, no. All those... Two things that we've got that run electricity. <laughs> oh, John. Are you grabbed him by the ear? Hey, Derek, please. Sit down. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. I wonder if we could. Hold on. 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 Right. Ready? Kapow. Grab him. Get him out of there. Oh, outstanding move, Marge. These animals is uh, is generating jade, and I'm not entirely sure which one is doing it, because we're always getting... Oh, is it the, uh, the hot blurples, I think they were called? Somebody said keep them out of your silver stockpile because I think these are the ones that eat their... Willing, uh, they prefer metallic diet. Whether or not they both are able, willing to share in the bounty of your enemy gold, silver, plastic, or machinery, they it's great for the mountain rangers. Feed on metals and can be periodically harvested for precious gems. There you go. Right, must be that then. Well, it didn't look as if the, uh, as if Mozilla Firefox over there was going to tend to John, so I've got Burger doing it. <laughs> I love the Burger's got it to 6.6 .6 medical. Genuinely... This colony would have been over if it wasn't for Freddy Burger. Ah, thank you, Stegosaurus. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I just thought of the next thing that happens after this. Brand of mind, intellectual and drugs are... Oh, now the fox is researching as well. <laughs> just bear in mind that intellectual and drugs are the same skill. So, um... I mean, yeah, you know where this is going. What is that? Terrible terror. <laughs> it's tiny. Hello? Don't let their diminutive size and cuddly attitude fool you. Oh, they already have. Terrible terror is a devious little trickster. So their nozzles are both extra common and extra adorable. They are highly territorial and have an excellent memory for both their way... Uh, both their way back to their nest in the face of anyone who's done them wrong. Oh. Okay, then. When tamed, they will periodically refuel nearby campfires and torches. Done. There's also something called a shadow charger. Oh, that's just these, um, right, that's just these kind of, uh, ram looking creatures. We could always tame one of those. There's no reason not to grab them. I mean, they look great for the, uh, look great for the zoo. What else have we got on there? There was something else I didn't recognize. Uh, a Magyarosaurus. I guess those things are probably quite hungry. Oh my god, we've got so many animals to tame. We still haven't got that crate dragon yet either. Holy crap. Poor John does not have enough time of day to be in bed uh, with his body parts all ripped off constantly and then also get out there taming. Now, I've also put Martinius on taming as well. 9.6 animal skill, single passion. Nowhere near as good as John, but actually stands a chance of maybe grabbing something. Come on, get an Ackler. That'd be pretty great. 3.1% chance. That doesn't seem worth the gamble. Hey, John's after the tiny terror. Oh, he's done it. Oh, shit. Oh, it was 100% chance. Achievement unlocked. Cuba deadly. Tame a terrible terror. Oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. 
<laughs> I just, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's, that makes that makes perfect sense. Stegosaurus and a fox find a way to make animal costumes. Got a bolt goods trader. All we need is a little bit of steel. We build the drugs lab. We get the we get either the Stegosaurus or the fox to start churning out cold hard drugs. We take a caravan. They can ride on one of the foxes, start delivering those to all the different settlements, and we can start funding our museum the proper way with uh, admission fees. Yeah, those. Buy some bees. You kickstart the bees. I like the bees. Let's get some bees going. I know how they work now. This is this is pretty. Oh, we've already got a mutant leg too. Oh, fantastic. That's just what we need. <laughs> Got absolutely no steel, so I'm just gonna trade them what we can. We got we got loads of leathers and skins around. We'll just sell that, take what we've got here in terms of silver, and then hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we'll get another trader soon that we can maybe get some off of. <laughs> oh, that's good. There we go. That'll get a bit of funding going. Thank you, Bert. <laughs> wow. Wow. So fearsome. Oh, damn it. Even with the choke vine and the sandbags, it's still not enough. So what we'll do then is uh, let's put a detour. So they'll enter the maze there, right? So we ideally need to detour them around, I guess, around this way instead. And then send them back through the middle like we have there. I mean, luckily, an incendiary launching fox comes in very, very handy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We could get the animals... To deep drill. <laughs> I wonder if they can... Hang on, hang on. Uh, gra what is it? Grounds. Penetrating scanner. Here we go. They actually operate a drill. They don't have opposable thumbs. I don't know if that's... A no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Oh, this is a big one, Martinius. Come on, get that credit dragon. Come on. He's done it. 7.4% chance. Come on, credit dragon. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> Look at the handler symbol. <laughs> These foxes make for very, very good researchers. Okay, we got deep drilling. What a bizarre sight. <laughs> Not only are those foxes good researchers, they're bloody fast as well. I wonder if they get a work speed bonus on account of them being foxes and again, not having thumbs. Grand penetrating scanners are done. The side problem is, you know, we've got no steel to build them, but that's a start. How are we doing the strip mining? We found uranium. Not a lot else right now. Frilius aggress. Frilius have appeared in the area. Their tails and for are sold at high prices. They're not aggressive. Oh, those are cool. I think those are some of the high scoring creatures as well. Yeah, market value of 7,000. That's 70 points up for grabs here. We'll try and tame both. There's no reason not to. Martinius and John are on it already. They were not fucking around there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. 15% chance with Martinius. John, 25% chance with John. Boom, we've got one. Are these made by the same developer who made the uh, the foxes? A very similar design, um, kind of aesthetically, but they've also got this. Um, they've also got this kind of frost breath, I assume. When we've got enough steel. We'll throw down the drugs lab first, then we'll put down a few sprinklers as well. Between the sprinklers and the bees, we get a pretty good turnaround on our on our yayo production, and then we'll get uh, what, which animals were rideable. Which would be better? What, what's the what's the ultimate animal here for? Riding out there as a drugs caravan. Um, we we'll take the cule and that's pretty good. Hot burple. That sounds kind of nice. That that's, hot burple seems like a fat Larry type uh, type character. Ground runner chainsaw Joris. <laughs> oh my god, the adolescent storm cutter is is rideable. Wow, a curmudgeon the ground runner is apparently bonded to John. Oh, that's a great name for a ground runner. Oh, you know we got to go on that adolescent stormcutter dragon on on this thing here, right? Oh, the other one's uh, adolescent as well now. That would be that'd be quite imposing. What's that you say? I'm gonna silver to pay for your drug debts. And I, I I feel like I'm I'm gonna say this at the end of every episode. In terms of base building and development, things have been fa fairly slow to today. We haven't really built anything new or or particularly interesting. We've just done a lot of really really impactful research. We're kind of stuck on this resource hump, which is a problem, of course, of living in living in planes here with the uh, kind of limited resource in the side there but with the deep drills with the potential trade caravan profits that we're bringing in here i think we're going to be able to really kick start things tomorrow i think then we can start working on all of our we can start working on the most important thing of all which is uh fr fried nights at freddy's maybe even a big fuck off cage for some of these jorises who otherwise won't cooperate we got anything else worth taking a look at here just before we just before we end things with what's a terramorph What's a Terramorph? Horrible. I love it. Give me one of those. 
Uh, shot goat ram. That's incredible. See, there's nothing else really of interest. So we'll leave John with that on his plate. But I think, again, in terms of zoo score, phenomenal. What do we start with today? Like 121 points. 121.5. We're up to, what, 379.5. So we've over doubled our points here on on animals again. They've just gone absolutely butt wild with it. In conclusion, thank you all for watching. And again, thank you for bearing with me over the next couple of days again while I've got uh, the, the, hopefully the final guest in uh, <laughs> in this guest lineup for quite some time. Minimum at least until uh, until late June, I think it is. So we should be good with uh, with hopefully no more pre-recorded content for the future. Big thank you as always goes out to the patrons for that, which I wouldn't have time to uh, prepare and record all this content in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Sabat. Mr. Moma, Brambio, Asana Kurito, Comrade Al, Alluvion Mishap, Average Nobody, Rage Dragon, Galupo Fruit Hag, Shotgun Diplomacy, Zevin Wolf, Other Guy 39, German Hammer, and Isolated Rogue for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making yet another episode possible. Thank you as well to uh, Nia Ragupin, Fatigable, Remdu, Asgar, Callum James 3, Wide Riot, Jeebus Crust, The Gentleman, Ghost Renault, William, The Other, 18, Covid, Rave Pirate, Cass, and Evan Dragon 323. 